Many of us in the security industry, whether we're starting out or we're seasoned professionals, probably know about the current cybersecurity market, career prospects, and just the overall trends. It's been pretty turbulent. This is, in my opinion, kind of the one of the bigger evolutions or kind of periods in my career so far. I know that lots of seasoned professionals have seen changes over the last many decades. Now, whether these evolved requirements and trends are good or bad, it's subject to interpretation. As always, with change, there is going to be good and bad. I want to break down what and where changes are occurring within the security industry, specifically in terms of career prospects, skills, and job hunting. As we all know, I think the most impactful change in this particular evolution cycle is the narrative of AI, but I do think that there has been a general shift in security investment as well. Let's start with the required technical and career-based skills. I'm thinking that these are experiencing a change. I think the cybersecurity experience gap that many of us in the entry level or perhaps the beginner level are experiencing, it's still very much so a relevant and hard requirement for many hiring managers in security programs. I think the level of skill is changing abroad all tiers of experience in the spectrum. For those who are well-versed in the new developments of perhaps where AI can shine and be the most benefiting, um, are, are probably really much so in a good position right now, while many of us, the rest of us, are perhaps feeling a bit left behind. So what skills are evolving? I see corporate security as becoming more abstracted from the low level mundane type tasks to more of a strategic based approach. Let me come up with an example here. Let's just use the security operations center as an example. Instead of hiring a dedicated team uh, of individuals who know the technology stacks, the processes, the responses, you know, the skills that were once delegated among many tiers, many different teams, perhaps are starting to slowly converge into fewer tiers because the, the technology being developed uh, and being harnessed by AI is being used to automate a lot of these kind of lower level type tasks. For those who already have a solid foundation and uh, lots of experience in the SOC can implement and operationalize their skill sets into AI models. So let's just say, for example, we have five tier one analysts that are triaging alerts in the security operations center, and they're being generated and developed by three detections engineers. What I'm thinking is, with a change in market dynamics and just kind of AI and where it's being used the best, there only needs to maybe be two analysts with one detection engineer because of the scale and automation that is being provided by some of these AI models. Now, of course, there is the fidelity question. Is it actually producing good data? And that's certainly still a question for all of this AI hype. In conclusion, what I'm attempting to say here through all of this rant is basically uh, the experience and the skills perhaps are converging. You know, what once used to be the team of 10 analysts doing work maybe doesn't need to have or isn't required anymore because some of the developments in AI, I'm going to get to another reason that I think, which is the security investment. But this leads me into my next point, which is career changes. The number one question I've been asking my peers and coworkers in this space is, is this cyclical? You know, is this just like a market downturn as we've always seen in economies or is this the new normal? And I think everyone has a different answer. No one knows, of course. I do think that we are certainly in an odd market. So besides the AI narrative, what I've seen anecdotally is that companies are prioritizing security up to a certain extent. I think the so-called blank check approach to security that perhaps many of us saw maybe a decade ago or less than that, it's changing. Companies are attempting to be more strategic with their dollars and security tool quotes, for example, security programs and the personnel that come along with that, they're becoming harder to rationalize because they're so expensive. So what I'm trying to say is the return on investment isn't necessarily being uh, fully extracted. So there's just a deep priority in, in some of these initiatives. Referencing back to the idea of convergence, what used to be the uh, entire job of a team can now to some extent be accomplished by those who already have experience. 
and can leverage their knowledge to automate some of the tasks of entry level. And I think that this is kind of the push that a lot of security programs are having um, is instead of investing all of these new uh, new dollar ups and, and money investment into new tools and personnel, they're just leveraging what they already have, perhaps being more strategic with their approaches. So if this push is somewhat true, the adverse effects of this are basically less of an opportunity for some of our entry level type candidates lower level type jobs and skill sets such as log analysis or escalation or security compliance. I think these things are changing. And finally is job hunting. AI slop, a seemingly overcrowded job market, layoffs, negative sentiment within a lot of the YouTube space. Job hunting in security is honestly quite discouraging right now. Unless you know the right people, you have the right skills, or you simply get lucky, which it can be difficult. So job hunting in general, I mean, I think it has been flooded to some extent with maybe over promises, um, maybe, you know, a disparity between experience versus what actually works. And I think AI is just in ch changing the entire, especially online job market, even outside of security with the whole kind of AI slop thing going on. So what I'm attempting to say is job hunting has been more difficult because we're competing with AIs. And really, we're competing with a lot of various different factors that are converging into a difficult market. Do I have tips for job hunting? Certainly, but overall, it, it's just difficult. The message here isn't necessarily to be discouraging or to try to tell you not to do something. In fact, I am still evangelizing security. I like what I do. I think it's interesting. It's fun. But there's changes and the continued evolution of cybersecurity careers will happen. Um, and this isn't just going to be the final say. Things are changing. Um, but I wanted to kind of highlight some of the points with, you know, I guess the AI narrative as well as security investment. I think companies are changing the way that they're approaching security, at least for the time being. Um, now, certainly with events happening, this could totally change in a year and um, there's going to be good and bad if that happens. So what are your thoughts with, you know, kind of cybersecurity, both in terms of the job market as well as just the job itself, you know, the technical skills, the workplace skills that are being required? Um, what What's changing? What are you seeing? Let me know in the comment section below. Hopefully you found this video I guess maybe resonating to a point or two that maybe you've been thinking of. And until the next time, you know what it is. Have a good day.